when I was on Capitol Hill, when you had a problem, the first thing you did was hold a meeting. We've been doing that for 10 years. Then you do a study, lots of studies. And when people aren't satisfied that you're doing anything, then you set out some principles. But these principles are designed not to really influence what actually happens. Mm -hmm. You look at most of these principles, and they're so carefully written and so caveated that they really don't shape action. They don't really constrain what governments can do. They don't constrain what business practices are out there. They don't constrain what technical standards the technology community might adopt. And so they're, they're really not getting us to the real flashpoints. Every so often we get close. In the OECD principles, just recently there was the flashpoint. You know, are you calling on nations to have a three strikes, you're out policy? But the words were written carefully, so some people can say yes and some people can say no. I think we have to go the next step and we have to start really, really getting the flashpoints. What is the, the, the trade-off between anonymity and security? What is the trade-off between child pornography and law enforcement access? I mean, there's all these different issues that we, we, we dance up to, we walk right up to, and then we have these discussions, and we write these carefully worded principles that have enough ambiguity that you can go several different directions. But real decisions are being made. You know, governments are making decisions, they're implementing policies. Often, they're implementing policies that are, 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 are Contradictory, privacy regulators do one thing while the police do something else. And I, I think we've got to go one step further than these principles and we have to start pushing what I call radical transparency. We've got to start really monitoring what's going on in the net much more closely. We have to start monitoring what governments are doing. I love what Google's doing to report when they're asked by law enforcement for information about their clients. I think that's the only way we're going to get to a better internet is when we actually know what's happening and we know the policies that governments are implementing. We know the practices that the businesses are following. But I, I, I think that the, this, whole, this whole effort in the end is designed to get people talking and to make people feel good about floating the issues, but it, it doesn't force us to come to closure. It doesn't force us to make choices. That's being done by people who are building a net.